We're going to look at 11 through 14 of this test review, chapter 7 test review. Uh, 11, actually all of these we need to break up into smaller parts. We know that the area of a figure can be found if we find some smaller parts and then add those together. There are definitely different ways to work through these. So the way I do is not the only way, it's just the one I chose to do. I guess what we'll just do here is kind of separate this into several rectangles. I'm going to kind of color code this, but we also do need to find some different lengths. Uh, so I want to find this length here. The whole thing is 19. We can subtract 12 and 3. So 3 and 12 is 15. 19 minus 15 is 4. So this length has to be 4. So not drawn to scale here. So that's 4. This length here, we need to find that. That's 8 and 5, so that's 13. The top is fine, and then over here on this rectangle, this is 7. And then we want to find this length here. Well, the whole thing is 19 minus the 3. So this is 16. All right, so let's find our total area, or maybe it's easier just to do it this way. Let's do the area of this blue one. That's a rectangle, that's base times height. So that is 20 units squared. All right, let's go to this orange one, also a rectangle. It is 13 times 12. which is 156 units squared. Our next one will go with green. That's this area. That's 27 times 3, which is 81 units squared. And then lastly, we have this over here. This is 7 times 16. 7 times 16 times 7 is 112. So our total area is going to be those things added together. So we want to just total those. Looks like it's 369 units squared. All right, number 12. Number 12 looks like we can split that into three parts. Could do a few different things. We could split it here and then here. That's one way we could split it. Or we could split it here and here. Either one of those are fine. Let's go ahead and leave it like that since I just wrote it. Uh, this first square. So this one is simply a 5 times 5. So that square is 25, or 5 squared, unit squared. This rectangle here, well, using the fact that this length is 5 and this is 3, this small length over here is not 3. It's 5 minus 3, so it's 2. And then... We have 12 minus 5 gives us 7. So the area of the orange rectangle is base times height. 
So that's 14 units squared. And then we have this half a circle here. Well, a full circle is pi r squared, so half a circle is 1 half pi r squared. Um, so we need to know the radius. Well, this whole length is 2, so that's 2, so the radius is simply 1. So we have 1 half pi times 1 squared, which really is just 1 half pi units squared. Uh, which is about 1.57. And so we can add all of those up to get our total area. So we have 25 plus 14 is 39, plus 1.57 is 40.57 units squared.